Hello everyone, it's Elizabeth from Smart Stitcher here. This little video is just taking you through the importance of skiving or preparing your leather when you are working with it. The example I've got here is a lovely piece of red leather that I'd like to make into a belt and at the moment it's very very thick and that isn't going to be particularly practical um, when it comes to making the belt so let's find out a little bit more about it and find out why. When we're working with thicker leathers it is very often necessary to remove some of the thickness behind where the buckle or um, attachment that you're looking to put on is going to be so that you can bend the leather around the buckle much more easily. We do this by a process of pairing or skiving to remove the extra thickness of the leather. Here I have some examples of the types of tools that you could use to pair or skive your leather. First one I've got here is a paring knife. The next one is a skiver, which always reminds me a little bit of a vegetable peeler. And the third one is a scalpel. As with any sharp tools, again, always make sure that you are safe and following safe practices when you are using them. Um, this video just introduces you to the tools. We're not actually explaining how to use them. The key thing when you are pairing or scarving your leather is that you are reducing the thickness so that your buckle will sit in your leather and the leather will fold around it really nicely without the risk of any cracking. If I didn't scarve my leather, I do run the risk of it cracking as I try and put, push the buckle around. If you are familiar with dressmaking and clipping your curves, you will sort of be able to relate to this. But I've got an example here that sort of shows you just how much a thicker piece of leather can really wrinkle as it is sort of being forced round together. Now, if you imagine if I kept going with that, I would end up with cracks like this, which we don't want because that's obviously going to weaken the structure of our leather. So just by removing a little bit of the thickness, and sometimes this is often just done by eye, so that you can keep checking the how it feels as it goes around the buckle um, until you have um, got it to a particular position where it folds around nice and easily. So sometimes you might find that you're just removing a little bit and then it sits much more comfortably sometimes this might be a little bit more if you have a softer leather again I would always advise checking so this is a softer thinner leather and I would always practice on a scrap bit and just sort of check to make sure that things do fit around what you're attaching properly 